freshmen. Um, what we have brought for you today is um, a panel of seniors. You have a lot of questions, so these four senior experts are going to give you the answers to all that they know about Bishop Knoll. Um, seniors, why don't you go ahead and introduce, introduce yourselves. Uh, hello, freshmen. My name is Frank Rivera. I'm Michelle Casper. I'm Raymonte Tucker. And I'm Lauren Ritchie. Um, tell the students a few activities you participated in um, and where you're going to college. Um, I have participated in soccer. It's very fun. We're very good. <laughs> and uh, I am going to IUPUI and I will be studying psychology. I am the Drama Club Vice President and I'm also in the Honor Society. And I will be attending Loyola University Chicago. Um, I was on the state basketball team. We were very good. <laughs> and um, I'll be attending the University of Indianapolis to study criminal justice. Um, I played softball and basketball and I did swimming. And uh, I will be joining the U.S. Coast Guard. So um, one of the things that all freshmen want to know is how your first day of school was or how your first <laughs> week of school was. So why don't you kind of give them a little information about your first day at Bishop Knoll. Well, my first day at Bishop Knoll, um, four minutes between classes went by a little bit faster than I thought, and I ended up flipping my own lock. <laughs> but after that, um, everything kind of became easier and more and more people. As, as you get more friends, everything becomes easier and people start helping you out. So. And we have five minute passing periods now. Yeah. Did you guys know a lot of people when you came to Bishop Knoll? And if not, how'd you kind of deal with that? Um, coming into Bishop No, I only know a few people because I moved here from Minnesota, and so it was like my second year being here. But um, as the year went on, I met people because I played basketball. I was involved in a lot of sports, so that's how I met people like that. Now, a lot of our freshmen will be coming from smaller schools. Um, how do you think they'll adjust to finding their way around the Bishop Knoll campus? Was that a, a struggle for any of you? Or? No, it's pretty easy. People are friendly here, and they'll help you guide your way. It's actually really easy to find every class that you need to find. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy because what, the first floor, all one numbers, right? Yeah. yeah. Odd side, even side. <laughs> Second floor, all 200 numbers. Odd side, even side. Um, is high school a lot harder than middle school? How would you compare the two? Um, I think high school requires a little more uh, dedication. You have finals. Like my middle school didn't have finals at all, so that was something I had to adjust to. But the teachers really help you out whenever you need help. They're always there for you after school, in study halls, and everyone's here to support you. Who here struggled their freshman year and kind of had a rework after their freshman year? Anybody here? I definitely struggled my freshman year. It was okay. hard. Okay. I did too. How'd you guys find the adjustments? What kind of adjustments did you find you had to make after freshman year, after you struggled academically? I think time management stuff, because yeah. I thought from coming from like a smaller middle school, um, I didn't, it wasn't as hard and like I didn't take it as seriously. But like coming here, like you kind of, I thought I could just like go out and stuff and still like pass without doing homework and not studying and everything. Just because I thought it was going to be like easy, but time management definitely was. Do you agree? Um, I, I completely agree. All right. Um, what about homework? How much different is homework from middle school to high school? So much homework. <laughs> There's even... so much more homework than in middle school. Like in middle school, I probably got maybe like three homework assignments a day. In high school, you get homework in every class every day. Like you don't get any breaks. How do you think that that prepared you for college? Now that you guys are really getting ready to go off into the next stage in life, how do you think that that prepared you? I think it sort of teaches you to take more time with the assignments and that you're going to have to take time outside of school to really um, learn the material to the point that you need to learn it. All right. So the number one question when freshmen walk in is, how do you go about making friends? Your first day, you're here. There's, this class is really large. You're looking at about 130, 140 students. How do they go about breaking the ice? How do they go about speaking to their classmates? It kind of just happens. Like, 
if you don't really think about like being nervous and how you're gonna make friends, you kind of just make friends and everyone's really nice and friendly, so it kind of just comes easy. Yeah, and a great way to make friends is to uh, join sports because mm -hmm. you'll find and meet new people that have the same interests as you, so there's all your friends. And, and we also have a lot of other activities for people who aren't athletic. I'm not very athletic. <laughs> I joined the theater department. You don't have to act, you can do crew stuff, build stuff. We do lighting, um, electrical things. We also have academic clubs too. And they're a good way to meet people who are who share your interests. Do you guys think freshman seminar helps freshmen meet people? Yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah really All right. Um, all right, seniors, since you are seniors, do the seniors pick on the freshmen? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, not, I don't really pick on ones that I don't know because I don't want to be really mean. But like freshmen that like I know, I'll give them a harder time. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely cut you in line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I know you, I'll, yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely get in front of you if I know you. The trick is don't move, kids. All right. Um, all right, we're gonna kind of switch roles because students were asking quite a bit about PRT. Um, PRT is personal responsibility time, which is, what is personal responsibility time? What do you time, guys? Time for you to get stuff done. I get my homework done, the projects done, stuff like that. Okay. How do you believe it helps you as a student at NOLA? It gives you a lot more time to do the large amounts of homework that you do get. And if you really need help with something, teachers are there during that time. And you don't have to make time after school during the school day, it's every time you need help, people are there for you. Okay, what kind of activities do students usually do during PRT? A lot of kids go to, to the computer lab, uh, to the media center, yeah. Do a lot of students meet with their teachers or get tutored or? A lot, of, they also have like the student counseling with Ms. Abbasi that helps out for mm -hmm. students really need it. And there's also uh, students here that tutor the little the younger one kids mm -hmm. to help them to get them right on track. And you can also get informal help. Like I've had a couple of freshmen just come up to me randomly and ask me to help them with math or English or something. So you don't really have to, if you're embarrassed or you don't feel right about doing formal tutoring, you can always ask somebody to do Do the teachers really use the technology at Bishop Knoll? Some of them, yes. Uh, some of them don't use the, te the new technology that we have to um, for all that it gives to us, because a lot of the teachers don't really know how to use all of it. But yeah, like Mr. Bentley. <laughs> he don't know what he's doing with that Stick to the chalkboard. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about the teachers that do use it? What are some like projects or things that they actually that you have you, they have you create in their class? Oh, for uh, Mr. Tacos. Uh, econ class, we have like the graphic organizers. We actually do it on the smart board. Mm -hmm. You're able to type it in and do it as a class. So it helps you learn the information better. Any other projects you guys have done in classes? There's a lot of um, PowerPoints, uh, slide presentations, and sometimes teachers will have you do like videos, video presentations. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> who is your favorite teacher and why? Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say Miss Hada. That's because I'm back here. <laughs> well, that too, but I mean, I had Miss Hada for a health teacher, and she was just a really good teacher in general. And I mean, she's me. Yeah, she's me sometimes. <laughs> but me in a good way, but she'll make you do your work and have a good time in the class. Uh, we have a lot of great teachers here. It's hard to choose. But I liked Miss Gurka. She's always. She's a theology teacher, and she's always very energetic and singing songs and having you do little art projects, and she really gets into what she teaches. Uh, my favorite teacher is Ms. Perkage. She's a business teacher, and she's just a really fun teacher. Like, she can relate to all the kids, and she, um, like, she brings a lot of energy to the classroom also, and she just makes it really fun. Uh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Bentley. Um, he's really funny, and basically everything that's on the test, he gives you all in notes, so it's a pretty simple class. What well, was your favorite class, and why? How did it benefit you now that you're going to college? How do you feel that that class has benefited you? I like 
my advanced theater class. Um, during the day, we basically look at different plays and we act them out and we play games and it really helps with analyzing because we get into the meaning behind the plays, which I think will really help in college. What was the hardest thing about your freshman year? That's hard. <laughs> I would say getting along with my teachers because my biology teacher hated me so much. Like she always put me in the class, picked me last. I think I was just a bad kid. <laughs> but I think once you know I became a teacher's pet, it, it became all good. <laughs> it was all good. I think it took a lot of adjusting for me because I wasn't used to having to walk around as much and you know, having to go to having seven different teachers and having to get used to all of their different ways and styles of teaching. Well, um, the hardest thing about me, my freshman year, was getting used to so many people like in, in the school because I came from a class where <coughs> there was like six of us in my eighth grade class. So coming to this school and seeing all the people, it was really different. Um, I think the hardest thing was prioritizing and uh, learning, how, like since we only, well, our freshman year we only had four minutes to get around and I thought it was more time than what it was, so I was late to a lot of my classes and uh, then like prioritizing all the classes and all the homework that we would get, because coming from a smaller middle school, we didn't get that much homework, so. What was the easiest thing? What are things that when freshmen come in, they can expect to get from a place like Bishop North? The easiest thing, no transition problem. A lot of support. Mm -hmm. Like you get support from all your teachers, um, a lot of the counselors. I think it's just like the easiest thing is that we're like all, we're like a family. I know everyone says that, but everyone's so supportive and helpful and caring. It's just, it makes everything easier. Everyone knows each other too. Like it's not hard at all to make friends because you'll see people in the hallways every day and it's not difficult at all. Frank, you might know more of these. What are some things upperclassmen tell freshmen that freshmen shouldn't believe? <laughs> oh Buy an elevator <laughs> pass. Go, go to the fourth floor. Oh, All right, now that you're seniors, is there anything in your experience at Bishop Knoll that you would have done differently? I definitely would have worked harder my sophomore year because um, that was when I started slacking off and my GPA dropped. But after that, like I learned that I can't be partying or wasting all my time. So I began to do my work and brought my GPA back up. Well, yeah, basically just time management. You really have to look ahead because four years seems like a long time, but it goes by really fast. And really, if you take a break for one year, it, it'll affect you negatively. You really have to Definitely. work the whole time. Yeah. I agree. Um, now that the freshmen are getting ready to come in here, um, what is, I would like all of you to answer this, what is the piece of advice that you would give them from you coming in? I would say don't be shy and don't be afraid to open up to other people. Um, if, if you do, like, it'll help you and benefit you in every way that you can think of. And uh, yeah, you don't want to be the person sitting by yourself in the cafeteria. But someone will sit by you anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it more of a big deal than it is. I mean, everybody's coming in new. Everyone feels strange. Everybody's worried and feeling awkward. So just go with it, and you'll find somebody to be friends with. Well, my biggest piece of advice would be to stay focused, because the main goal is to get to the college of your choice. And as long as you stay focused, get all your work done, make sure you do what you have to do, and play after you get all your work done, you'll be fine. Um, my main piece of advice would probably be don't look at it as being four years. Um, so I looked at it as being a long time, and being if you look at it as being four years, then you try, like I didn't really care that much because I thought of it as being a really long time, but it goes by really fast. So like Ray Monte said, try to stay focused and work hard. All right, thank you very much, senior, seniors, for the interview. Um, freshmen, we hope that this gives you just a little perspective of what Bishop Knoll offers. Um, and if you have any questions for us, feel free to email us or visit our website at bishopknoll.org. Thank you very much.